Well, we have developments. I took this top cover off again. Pulled that kill wire, what was on that coil. That obviously goes somewhere we don't want it to. Because you look at that plug down here now. Let's get him zoomed in, look. You look at that plug now. We have a hell of a spark. So that kill wire, we need to put a new one on. I've just All I've done is disconnected that kill wire what was in there. That obviously goes somewhere else. And we don't want that. All we want is when it goes to ground, it cuts the engine. That's all we need. Which we can do off the ignition. So, yeah. I don't start it now because I've got no way of stopping it. Because I can't get my hand in there near that coil to put that wire back on. So no way on earth am I going to start it now because I won't be able to turn it off. Um, but yeah, we have a spark. So coil's good. I'm assuming that engine's absolutely fine. So, right, let me put another coil wire on there, another kill wire, and then we'll be back. Right. There's our little kill wire, which I've disconnected. This one here. I think, you know, this has gone to ground somewhere, because it goes right round the edge of the cylinder jacket. I'm wondering if it's either rubbed through or it's caught. Because I can't, well, I can pull it, but in theory, this shouldn't even be connected to anything. Do you know, it's nipped behind the starter motor. I bet you that's gone behind this starter motor and nipped. Do you know, I bet that's what it is. Of course, that wire, let me get the camera out here. Put the flash on. This wire, look, comes around the back here. If you can see that. Whoops, we're too far zoomed in. There you go. That wire goes around the back, and it I can't even move it. It is trapped behind that starter motor, look. And I bet you that has gone through and gone to earth, which is cutting the engine out. Either way, I had to take these covers off, because I've got to get these two bolts. I'm just going to slacken that starter off, you know. Oh, you horrible thing. I can't get a socket on there. Look, because the bloody Bendix is in the way. Right, that might be a Torx job. But, yeah, I think what the problem is, I bet you that's nipped through. Let's just have a check. Let me just get my... Uh, let me just grab my Torx heads. And see if we can see if this wire is trapped. All right, here's my Torx. It's going to be this size, is it? Is it that size? That look about right. Unless I can get a 13 mil spanner, I think I'll take them right off. Only got to slacken them off. Um, can we get a 13 span? Ah, oh, we can get a spanner in. I'm oh, not 13, but. That'll do. I know the Americans are going to go, oh, you're using the wrong spanner on there. Where? Yeah, well, in the UK, I'm afraid we're in peer, we're a metric over here. I bet you that's what it is, you know. That stupid wire has nipped. Right, the starter's loose now. Let's pull this wire out. Looky, looky here. Yep, totally trapped. Totally trapped. Now that, that is why, oh yes, I think the best thing to do is do away with this wire altogether and run a new one down here to come out and just do away with this one. Come on, will you come through? Why have you got jammed up? No, you've got jammed up. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that is definitely what our problem is, you know. 
that wire has got trapped in there. Oh, look. Look at that. Look around the back where that's touching the engine block. There you go, it's worn through. And that is why we didn't have a spark. Simple thing like that, that got nipped on the starter. And tell you what I've done, I've pulled that wire through now and I'm thinking what we could have done was just cut that piece out and joined it. Let me see if I can retrieve that wire wherever it's gone to. I need my flash because I can't see down there. Oh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's pulled through there quite a way. And it's got itself stuck. Now, we're going to have to just put another wire on there. It's really not a problem. So let me get a wire sorted and I'll be back again. Right, I've just looked on the old engine. Took the kill wire off that. It's connected to the plug. The original John Deere plug. So I'm wondering... We connect him in and put that kill wire. Let's get him rooted up. So this wire here is going to give us grief. So I'm going to eliminate this wire. Of course, it's one we're just not using anymore. So that can be cut off. Yeah, we can cut this wire off. Oh, stupid wire clips. Pull it through. I also connect to this wire, which we aren't going to need. And I'm going to put this kill wire around the back of this starter, where it should go. It should go around the back of the starter, but it's got trapped in the engine block. All right, that kill wire is on. So, come on, get back up there. Right, that's loose there now. See that wire is loose? We can wiggle it. So if I hold that up the top and tighten them starter bolts back up, I think we're going to be golden. What am I looking for? I know what I'm looking for. I can hold that wire up. I want to make sure. Yeah, it goes loose, look. See that? That wire is now loose around the back. Before it was coming down the bottom and that had got nipped on the starter. And I'm pretty sure that was what was causing all our troubles. Well, I'm going to be shit confident now before I even try and start this again. I'm going to put these covers back on again. And this wiring's been messed around with on this engine because there's a join there with heat sink around the back here. There's a join there with heat sink. Somebody has put these wires in. These are not John Deere having heat sink on them like that. Somebody's messed around with the wiring on this, and I don't even think there are the proper plugs for it. So, yeah. Yeah. Because the only wires we need is this one. We need the kill wire and two wires for the generator, and that is it. That is all these engines need. This hasn't, no, nope, this hasn't got the fuel shut off on the bottom of the carb. I think somebody has messed around with the wiring on this and that's why they got that wire trapped in there. I mean that Jubilee clip isn't factory either what holds this solenoid. So something's gone awry there. This shouldn't be on there. All this hemorrhoid here shouldn't be here. Why somebody's put that on? I don't know. Maybe to hold that unvoltage regulator. If you remember this regulator was bolted on there. 
it shouldn't be that regulator should be bolted somewhere else probably on the engine cover I don't like that on there I'll probably end up taking that off because I don't think we need it well, without any further ado let's get this bad boy back together and yes I am sure now that we're going to have a spark get your tin work lined up now oh, I've got silly brackets here look they put brackets on brackets just to hold the engine where's the hole there's the hole Ugh. Where's the hole, hey? That's what she said last night. Right, let's have a look. Let's get these covers all back on. Right. I'll be back when I've got them back on. Right. Last thing. Put the cover back on. For some reason there's only three bolts hold this on somebody's twiddled with this engine at some point i just hope wherever it come from that it's a good runner she sounded all right when she turned over so she didn't have no knocks and she sounded like she had decent compression somebody had messed with this engine right so now we should, where's our new spark plug gone? Still on the plug. Let's just see if we've got a spark here now. Let me connect that battery up again. I have to have them leads off so I can get to them back bolts. We should have a spark now. Yeah, I can't see where this wire go, what I've put in here. I mean, God above knows what they've done with that wire. Right. So. So if we keep an eye on the spark plug, we should have a spark. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Now oh, bear in mind, this is going to be noisy because we haven't got an exhaust on. But um, 99% sure now that it's going to run. It's going to start right up and run for us. Up to 13 mil deep. What have I done with the plug spanner? Here it is. Here she is on the floor. There we go. Right, I wonder if I've got some where I can just loosely baffle this exhaust down so we don't deafen ourselves. Do that fit in there? No, no, no. I was wondering if we've got a bit of exhaust pipe. Ah, here's the silencer. I think this is the one that came off it. Ah, look at that. Right, okay. Obviously, obviously that ain't meant to be on there like that, but it'll just stop at deafness. Right, so will she run? And even more importantly, or it'll be a big bonus, if when we turn the key off, she actually stops again. If that kill wire actually works. So let's have a look. Looky, looky there. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Do I not turn the key off? Do it stop? Oh, oh, the kill even stop. Look at that. Sweet as. As sweet as a nut.
They exhaust the spill dump with oil, and the oil is no burning out of it. Trust me, that engine's not burning oil, that is sweeter than that. Yeah. And the engine kill works. That is a massive, massive bonus. So, yeah. Did I do the right thing putting this engine on here, guys? Having three horsepower less, because the original engine was a 19 horse, and this one's a 16. But if I'm perfectly honest, I rate the Vanguard engines a lot more than the Intec engines. I think these are a lot more robust and a lot more reliable. And I don't think that three horsepower is going to make a blind bit of difference. I think the pure torque of this engine over that crappy Intec is going to be better. So I think all around, this is going to be a better result than putting another Intec engine on it. So. I'm going to call this a day. Really happy with proceedings. Off camera, I think I'm going to tip the mower on its side, put the pulley on the bottom, um, you know, the, the drive pulley, connect the belt up, and then I'll restart the video, and we can actually see if the hydraulic drive on this work. Because we've got hydraulic drive, which can be... <laughs> Um, I'm assuming it's going to be all right. I'm hoping it's going to be all right. If the hydraulic drive has gone wrong on this, then I'm just going to write the mower off, take the engine off, and I'll have to get rid of it. But I'm assuming when the engine blew, I look at it this way, when the engine blew, it was obviously running, and it was obviously moving. So I'm assuming they just stopped using it because they blew the engine up, which means the transmission should be all right still. That's my method of thinking. Um, it would be more concerning if they just stood up and didn't tell you why. And the engine ran, then you'd have more concern. So, well, if they stood up because the engine ran, what else is wrong with it? Then you could have hydraulic drive. But that con rod has gone. So, obviously, when they was using it, they was obviously using it when the con rod went. So, yeah. That kill wire is not getting trapped anywhere. No, that kill wire we've put on there is still nice and loose. But that's a cautionary tile. That wire trapped behind that starter was all that had stopped us from getting on with this. Just that silly wire. So we've got the original John Deere plug in now because I've took it off the other engine. I've just got to connect these charging wires up, which is these, this one here. Um, but I will have to get the multimeter out to measure the AC and DC voltage so I know where they've got to go. Because um, we've got to go through a rectifier. Can we actually see that rectifier with the bonnet shut? Can I take this exhaust off? Yeah. I just want to shut the bonnet on this. Oh, she's bloody hot. Ow, 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 ow. There you go. I want to see if this bonnet will shut, and you can't see that. If you can't see that, no, you can. I think there is meant to be a panel go in here, actually. What fills that in? I'll have to see if I can get one of them, because that didn't come with the machine. But, yeah. Anyhow, I'm going to stop waffling on, and I'm going to get this mower up on its side, and get the bottom pulley on. <sighs> right, that's it for now. I might find I'll get the mower on its side and then think, oh, I'll just video this a little bit, but I'll see. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Like and subscribe. But you might see me in about seven seconds' time when I think, no, I will record putting that pulley on. But, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. we got her running. The wrong engine, or the right engine, on the mower. Hmm. Which is it? Yes, this is very much putting the... Uh, right engine and the wrong engine on the mower but it worked but bye for now